Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Mausoleosis, which is an RPG maker horror game where your mom contacts you to go and pick her up, but then you realize she's been dead for 20 years. I received a very concerning letter from my mother. The letter reads, David, please come for me. I'm alone and scared. I don't want to be here any longer. I'll be waiting for you. Please hurry, Mom. For what concerns me most is not the message itself. The main promise my mother has been dead for 20 years. Maybe I should have ignored the letter, but I couldn't. Go to the graveyard. God only knows what I'll find there. Quick note that this game is made from the same creator as A House for Lisa. But I believe this is maybe one of the first instances where they're using a different artist. So... It's gonna look a little different than the other games. Q. Well, this flashlight's like lighting my darkest hour up here. Maybe I should just leave. Wait. Yeah. I ain't dealing with this. Let's sleeping moms lie. Hello? Hey. You need a ride? Yes, I need to go to the city. What a coincidence. I'm going to the city too. I'll take you there. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not quite sure. Are we continuing the game, or...? By the way... I think I've seen you in a fashion magazine. Me? Oh no. <laughs> I'm not a model. Guess I mistook you for someone else. But you could actually be a really good model, you know. Are you serious? Me? But... I don't think I have what it takes to be a model. Listen. I'm a photographer. I work for a fashion magazine. I know of an agency that's looking for a new model. And you could be that model they're looking for. No way, really? That, w that would be awesome. Tell me all about it. Ending one. Hey, no, it's actually just a perfectly fine ending. We, we even met a, a girl that's not murdering us. Ending one, ignorance. What's this? Ah, I see. It's manual save file game. Rather a stationary one. Missing but not forever. Hello? I guess I'm not the only one here. We're going the other way. Wrong way. Mom isn't here. Mama's also not there. No moms here. Nope, no moms. What about here? Nope. There's a distinct lack of moms around here. Huh. Well, the sprite work is... I believe still the same creator. It looks like it's the, uh... The art itself that's obviously changed. That girl again. But that's a mausoleum where my mother is buried. Why does she go in there? Maybe it is your mom? Which one? I'm gonna go the other direction. Wrong way. Yeah. Figured you'd say that. D. 
Did she light the candles? Hey. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Have you come to visit a relative buried here? M my name's Iris. None of my relatives are buried here. I'm just looking for my cat. Huh. Her perfume smells nice. But she also has a faint aroma of flower. Your cat. Yes, my cat went missing and I thought he could be hiding here. This is a mausoleum. Why would a cat be here? Because it's out of the rain? Warm? Ish? I just... thought... Listen, I'm sorry about your cat, but you shouldn't be in this place. I doubt a cat would come here. You should look somewhere else. I'm David. My mother's burial chamber is Loki in his mausoleum. I came to visit her. I apologize, I... I think you should leave. Barbie, who does he think he is? There's no need to be so rude. Damn it! Someone locked the door. Hey! Let us out of here! I better get away from him. I need to find Whiskers. Whiskers? Wait. Why are you running? I better go after her. There's no point in staying here anyway. I'm sure there must be another exit around here. Although, I also need to find my mother. What's with your eyes? Did Are your pupils like... Shh, did they just like squint? It's creepy. Huh. Hi. Rats. Which is one of the biggest rat. It's too dark you can't read it. Well, I do have a flashlight. Rats feel attracted to death, just like we do. I think rats are attracted to damn everything, eh? Squeak. I suppose I should just use this in general. Like, I don't... There could be a mechanic where there's like monsters or something you gotta turn it off. North side. I hate coming down here. Lately, I've been hearing the voice of a woman calling for someone. The voice came from the East Wing, where that woman was buried 20 years ago. But as the assistance of the caretaker, I guess I have no other choice but to follow orders. Mom, can't be. Hey. Hey, why are you running from me? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just here to see my mother. Hey, wait, what? Damn it, I need to find a way to get there. Rude. You don't even know if we're a bad person or not yet. Just because I look a little bit hipster, I might be a bad person, doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Which I may be. Rattle me bones. Yeah, there's no reason to have the light off. Is there a battery mechanic? I don't think so. Never really implies it. Oh man, I'm getting witch's house flashbacks. First my head was full of ideas. Then I descended to madness and lost my head. My faith always remains strong though. Yeah. Faith always remains strong. That correct? I heard something. It goes over here. Yeah, so the bone trail, I guess, doesn't matter. It's, it's just a graphical thing. Faith always remains strong. It just means the, uh... You're not supposed to look at it from a different perspective. It is just the places with the cross being up. I was trying to bait if it was like mirrored, kind of reverse. Mouse. Rat. Rat. 
Wrong number. Edgar Franz Howard and in Virginia. Edgar died when he was 80 years old. Franz died when he was... Edgar. 1620. 1420. Virginia. Howard. Okay. Somewhere something opened. What place is this? All sorts of puzzles everywhere. I should probably go back and save. What is this? Rat. Which way am I going? Okay, I see where we are. Bam. This mausoleum is bigger than what it seems. However, some areas were closed. Were they trying to hide something? I better keep my mouth shut, though. I don't want to end up like my predecessor. Books were in land. Sup? Why did you lock me back there? That wasn't necessary. Are you scared of me? I... I, I don't trust you. Why not? I told you about my cat, and you didn't care. You wanted me to leave. But I'm not leaving without my cat. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe I was rude. If your cat is really here, then I promise I'll help you find it. But we also need to find an exit, or we'll have to stay here until dawn. I'm not very good with social interaction, so I'm sorry if I came out as rude. I just... I've been through a lot lately, and things are getting weirder. Maybe he's being sincere. Should I trust him? Or maybe I should play along. I see. Okay. I'll trust you for now. We're both trapped here, so... We'll find your cat, and then we'll look for an exit. I'm sure there must be another way to the surface. You've come here many times? I... Actually... I haven't been here since I was a kid. My mother died. I never visited her again. Until today. What made you change your mind? A letter. A letter? I received a letter from her. Tell me to come pick her up because she doesn't want to be alone anymore. No way. You said mother sent a letter. Maybe someone was pranking you. No one from the city knows about my mother. And why would anyone want to prank me anyway? This isn't a prank. I can feel it. There's something weird going on here. Well, your mother is dead. And the dead can't send letters. Maybe. She's not dead after all. What do you mean? I mean what I mean. David. Yep, it's evil. We're getting out. There's something in there. Oh, wait a moment. That, that's where my mother is buried. David. Why does it sound squishy? Mom. <laughs> David. You're finally here. And you brought a friend. Iris, run! No hesitation, this guy. He's just like... Yeah, my mom's a giant monster giraffe thing. Get the hell out of here. Oh no, it's even worse. David. Why do you run from me? You're supposed to be dead. Nothing but dust. I saw you being buried 20 years ago. 
My love for you is too strong. Not even death can interfere. Now come give me kisses and hugs. Sure, why not? Oh, there is a death cutscene. Mom. Wait, what? Mom, wait, 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 wait. Why'd you take my shirt off first? Also, apparently we're like ripped under there, man. Wait, 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 no, these are dead ends. Like, we're fit. Look, look at it. We just. Other way, other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. Oh god! Oh ho 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 ho! You are weird. Oh god! Not my rock hard abs! I guess we did something wrong in the timing. At some point, she's gonna hop back over, almost land on us. Okay, not as bad this time. Maybe the issue we were just too close, so she didn't leap. Like it just cut right into us. Yeah, see, she just didn't ever leap to get closer. Yeah, don't go out there. My mom's out there. We need to block the door. Help me move that shelf. She's after my rock hard abs. This is pretty bad. Seems like she left. Or maybe that's what she wants us to believe. Was that really your mother? I don't know what to think anymore. She has become something else. But somehow she's still in there. That damn monster is still in there. She looked like a monster. Oops, maybe that was too rude. She has always been a monster. Wow, you have some trauma, huh? What do you mean? Okay, I guess I'm telling her. Here we go. When I was a kid, my mother used to insert pins and needles in my gums. The more I cried, the deeper she pushed them. Oh god. At first, the pain was unbearable. But then, something happened. I didn't feel pain anymore. Maybe she damaged my nerves. Or maybe it was something else. She eventually stopped doing that. I guess it wasn't fun if I didn't cry. I'm sorry. That sounds horrible. She definitely was a monster. It's okay. Actually, I'm thankful to her for doing that. She made me stronger. Some months later, she died, and I was in the little of an aunt. Eventually, I grew up and followed my dreams. All that pain allowed me to discover my true passion in life. I became a photographer. I got a place of my own and I was free. He's a photographer. I'm glad you could find a better life. Too bad we're trapped here now. With her. We'll find a way out of here. She's not going to ruin my life again. Or your gums. Do you have any idea why she's undead monster now? Is she even undead? Beats me. Nothing of this makes any damn sense. Maybe I should have burned that letter. A part of me wants to believe this is just a bad dream. But it isn't. This is happening right now. There's no explanation at all. I just have to deal with this. My grandpa used to tell me scary stories. And I remember one in particular. The story of the ghoul. Ghoul. A ghoul is an undead monster. When someone who is really evil passes away, 
the mouse can turn them into a ghoul. They feed on human flesh and tend to inhabit graveyards, catacombs, and mausoleums. Sometimes they feed on your wallet. I know it was just a story to make me sleep, but... You think my mother is a ghoul? Yes. I guess that's a possible explanation. However, explanations won't get us out of here. We need to think of something. Ask about life, stay silent. So they said something about like, uh, at the start of, you start the game, it says like there's four endings based on your choices. We're gonna stay silent first, because I'm gonna go for the bad endings first. You're not very talkative, are you? She's so annoying. I speak from my camera. Oh, I see. But you still need to talk to people, right? Contacts? Clients? Yeah, of course. Why do you ask? Oh, I just... Are you interested in knowing more about me? I was just trying to have a conversation. He's being rude again. Look, I'll help you find your cat and get out of here. But don't expect me to be a super friendly, talkative person, okay? That's not who I am. You don't need to be so rude about it. I'm not rude, I'm just... too tired of everything. But I must go on. There's still so much to do. What do you mean? I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable around him. Meow. Whiskers! That's your cat? Yeah, it's me. What's up? I knew you were here. I was so worried. Wait a moment. He came from there. There must be a hidden room. There's got to be a way to get in there. I better check the room. So for um, story flow's sake, w the way I'm going to kind of do it is you're going to see the other option. The first innings I'm going to show and get are going to be the bad innings, obviously, but I'm going to show the positive options dialogue-wise, like right off the bat after doing the bad one. Ask her about her life. Maybe I should ask her about her life. By the way, what about you? About me? You live nearby. Do you work? Study or something? I just want to know who I'm trapped with. Maybe I should tell him. You told me about yourself, so I guess it's only fair. My parents died shortly after I was born, so I was sent to live with my grandfather. He was a very sweet man and he always took care of me. He taught me everything I know. I didn't go to school or anything like that. He passed away recently, shortly after my 21st birthday. So she's 21. She's so young and she's all alone. Poor girl. I see. I'm sorry about your loss. Thank you. He was a baker and I decided to follow his steps. Now I work in a bakery shop. But I wish to be a model. The house isn't far away from here, so that's why I thought my cat could be here. A baker, huh? I guess that explains the faint aroma of flour. I guess we both had rough starts, but luckily, we managed to find happiness. And don't worry, I'm sure your cat is fine. I bet he's just taking a stroll and he already misses you. Hopefully my mother didn't kill it. We'll find a way out of here and we'll see your cat again. I guess you weren't a bad guy after all. Meow. Whiskers! That's your cat. Meow. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. There seems to be a hidden button in the statue. Would you like to press? Yeah, yeah, press that button. I knew it. Seems like we have no other choice. We better get moving before she comes back. I'm back! I'm sorry. Here's mommy. Come on. Let's go. Good for those bars. You ghoul. I won't stop her forever. You must move on. Wait, can we all, like, 
Is she actually stopped forever or what? That would be a bad idea. Really now. What's this place? Never part of the mausoleum. This area must have been hidden for a very long time. Why would they want to keep this area hidden? Who knows? Maybe it's related to my mother's transformation. But there's no time for theories. We need to find a way out of here. I have a really bad feeling about this place. What's in here? Nothing interesting here. There's enough space for another book. I've got one. A tombstone of flowers. There's also a photograph of a person of several lacerations. Who, who could that be? They didn't do a good job with the photograph. A creepy looking painting. That won't work. Huh? That hole! There must be something in there. You stay here with your cat. I'll check it out. Wait! It could be dangerous. And I'm smaller, so I should have less trouble getting in there. Don't worry. I have experience with this. Going in holes? Really? I never used to be locked me up in a very narrow space filled with cockroaches. That's awful. You shouldn't relive those memories. Trust me. I'll be fine. This feels... Like a test to see how strong I am compared to those days. Rat. Get out of here, rats. I'm bigger than you. Well, this is actually a long path. Rusty key. Oh my god, rats, get my way. That's no good. Is she inside here? Ah! Damn it. That fall was rough. Luckily I didn't get a bone fracture. Still, I need to get out of here. Oh, man. Squeak. Squeak. May the flowers protect the innocence. Iris, how did you get here? Where's your cat? Hey, wait! Why are you running again? Thought we were cool. Bark. 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 As soon as I leave me alone. Get away from me, evil thoughts. Yeah, that's what I thought. No one coughing, there are human reins inside. Pay your respects? Yes. Paid your respects. Is this even a puzzle? Yeah, the flowers.
Stay on the flower path, right? I mean, I seem to be doing fine. I don't understand what the, uh, danger is here. They sure is bizarre. Come on, it's gonna be another one of you guys. Four innocents among the sinners. Is there any more of these? Did you pay your respects to the four innocents? Yes, I did. I would have paid my respects to the innocents. Thank you. Am I hallucinating? That certainly wasn't her. Could I have lied? Hmm. Yes, I did. No, Dan, you are lying. Both your inside and your outside are rotten. You are rotten. Wait. So that's what happens. So what was this whole journey about? Okay. Oh, hi, I'm back. David, are you okay? Iris, it's good to see you again. What happened? It doesn't matter, I found a key. We can find the exit now. Oh, okay. Let's go then. So we went in there. What's in here? Latin? It seems so. It's probably to that device over there. Looks like something could fit in there. Like, uh... Areas for like a puzzle, but I'm not quite seeing, aside from the key, what I would use in those areas. So what's going on over here? Well, oh, this whole area is a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, where's the keyword here? Redundancy. A trap! But don't worry, there must be a mechanism to open that gate. Redundancy. No play will not reflect redundancy, but statues will. Statues for a skull, statues for a flower, statue for a mirror. Oh, I see. Okay, and the other one was, uh... Nice! Knife. The knife looks very sharp. It will come in handy, though. You think you could use it as a weapon against your mother? I don't think so. She's too fast and her teeth are too sharp. Maybe we can use it for something else. Uh oh. What was that? Who knows? Watch out for the broken glass. Reminds me of the story of the vampire. Another of your grandpa's stories. Yes, 
Vampires aren't reflected in mirrors, and if they stay near a mirror for too long, the mirror breaks. I see. Let's hope there aren't any vampires around here then. Uh, every mirror broke. Well, that turned out fine. I'm assuming there's gonna be another item we need in here. Took them four days from the west and six days from the east. Four days from the west. This is probably gonna be a bad end. Something, something attacks you, something extremely sharp. He's okay. He's just taking a hands-off approach. This one. Okay. This one. Knife. You slash the painting with a knife. Ah, uh, there's something inside the painting. Old cross. This one was the book. It seems like something opened somewhere. Now, I thought there was one more room with a thing we can interact with. Should be this one. Something fell from the ceiling. Copper key. Exactly what we needed. So. Alright. A door of the copper key. This room looks safe. Perhaps we should rest for a while. Look at that cat go. Do you think the exit is near? I hope so. There's something you're not telling me. What do you mean? When you fell, what did you see down there? I saw you. Me? What do you mean? You were down there. You asked me to pay my respects to the innocents. Then you disappeared. It was probably just a hallucination. How strange. Forget about it. Nothing here makes any damn sense anyway. Uh, I guess you're right. Maybe I should ask him. By the way, you said you're a photographer, right? Yeah. What do you take pictures of, women? People? I mainly specialize in taking photographs of people. Like, in parties and events? Or maybe people in public places? I work for fashion magazines and agencies. I also have a homemade professional studio. Do you know Mary Kay? Have you worked with her? Mira Kay, of course. She tends to appear in the most popular fashion magazines. I took some of her best photographs. I can't believe this. I'm a big fan of her. She, she was born in a small rural town and she managed to become a fashion model. Maybe I could become a model too. Uh, uh sorry, I was just joking. I shouldn't have said that. I definitely wouldn't be a good model. I'm ugly and not a photogenic person at all. You're gonna save here, because after this, you're gonna say she's ugly. Be cruel. Yeah, you're right. You wouldn't be a good model. You're not very pretty. What? I'm sorry, but you're ugly. I know the truth hurts, but that's how things are. I photographed a lot of beautiful models. I know what agencies look for, and they definitely wouldn't want someone like you. Your eyes are boring and generic, your lips are too fat, you're not tall. 
enough and your voice is annoying. I is he serious? Why? Why would he be so cruel? How can you be so cruel? What is wrong with you? I'm just being honest. Why does everyone hate honesty? Why can't you people accept the truth? Look, I'm sorry I'm being harsh if I hurt your feelings, but it's better that way. I mean, you should forget about being a mama. <sighs> I'm sorry, okay? I can't help being honest. I hate you. I guess my first impression was right. You're not a good person. Just because I'm honest, it's not my fault that you're ugly. Forget it. Just let's get out of here. Agreed. I need to get away from it as soon as possible. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Okay, so now we're going to do the be nice option. You're wrong, though. You would be a great model. Uh... You're not ugly. I... Um... Uh, think you're pretty. Is he complimenting me? Or is he actually trying to flirt with me? A little bit of both, maybe? Sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I it's okay. I'm just surprised that you consider me pretty. A professional photographer considers me pretty. I can't believe that. I'm just being honest. Thank you. I actually dream of becoming a model. It might sound silly, but... When I go back home after work, I like to try out dresses and I also do my makeup. Then, I imagine I'm a famous fashion model who lives in the city. Maybe I shouldn't have told him. Listen, we'll get out of here and then I'll let you have a photo session for free. You and your cat. No way, really? Oh, I'd love that. I need to calm down, or he'll change his mind. Yes, I'm serious. But we need to get out of here first. Yes, yeah, so we'll definitely find an exit. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Locked with a key, so we're back on our Be Mean Iris route. It's effectively gonna be the same gameplay wise as it not one, I I'm assuming. Thus, the bronze maiden disguised as a copper maiden was beheaded. In the distance, her bronze husband cried blood. You okay? Celery looks pretty old, but somehow it seems it's still working. We should use it then. Not yet. Let me investigate. Just a touch more. Save point. Ladder. I'm just kind of winging it. I have to go back there and look at what the uh, puzzle was first. She's coming for me. She's got the others. We didn't expect her to be this wild. But he'll arrive soon, and he'll find a way. She? Maybe the person who wrote this was referring to your mother. If that's the case, then he's also talking about me. They knew about the letter and your arrival then. Damn it! I need some answers! What's going on here? An old coffin, there are human remains inside. Whoa, there's a zombie! Oh my god. The cat just runs off like, ah, this, this sucks. That's such a cat. We got... Empty bottle. Now let's do this again, but actually be prepared to run the roll. Well, I kind of wanted to see the bad ending too. So you guys don't jump like the other thing does, right? What was that? I guess my lover isn't the only undead entity in this place. We better stay away from that room. No, we know. Going back in. I bet it's gone now. It's 
since there's only one way, we gotta go take the elevator. Golems are made of clay and mud. What was that? The water here looks stagnant. Fill the bottle? Yes. You fill the empty bottle of stagnant water. Clay and mud. We're making a golem? I just filled it with the wrong type of water, didn't I? The golem became Ron, then from his remains flowed a pristine stream of cleansed water. I'm not quite fully sure what I'm doing yet, so... The maiden wished for natural beauty, but all she would get was artificial plastic beauty. Looks like something can be put in there. Go back. Well, we know, um... If the puzzle is what I think it might be... There's also a face right here, by the way. Okay. And then... Became Rodden. Which would imply stagnant, I'm assuming. Or it's the other way around. No, I got it right. we not be a golem in here. David? Yes. I see them. They don't seem to care about us, so... So we should just ignore them. I should go make a save point. Yeah, I'm... There are zombies or golems or... Zombie golems, which is a thing. Do you think those were... Ghosts? Um, that is a monster right there, so let's not worry about the ghosts. Who knows? As long as we don't interact with them, we should be fine. Yeah, I guess our main concern should be... My mother. We haven't seen her in a while. A lot of faces on the wall. Okay, we were totally supposed to get something back there, weren't we? Oh, no, there it is. Plastic Rose. Hey, what's up? I see you there in the shadows. Very curious save point. Yep, okay. What happens if we all get grabbed? Ow. Cat just gonna abandon me while I, my mom goes for my rock hard abs. She disappeared. It's like she's toying with us. Oh, she is. Classic beauty. Somewhere something has opened. That sound came from above. So here, right? Yeah. Oh no. The vessel's almost here. This time it will work. Vessel. 
I don't like this. Corpse. You. This person hasn't been dead for long. He, he died recently. Most likely. He was obviously killed. He has bites and lacerations all over his flesh. Wait. Maybe he, he's the caretaker. That's a possibility. But I guess we'll never know for sure. Do you think your mother killed him? Maybe. Anyway, we should check if he has anything that can help us, such as a key. Does he plan to cover up the body? He doesn't seem to have any trouble with that. You slash the corpse and carve it with the knife. Did we find a shotgun? There's a shotgun casually inside of him. Uh, there's something inside his flesh. Flesh key. Wow, that's a little literal. I can't believe he did it. Maybe he's too desperate to get out of here. Yeah, okay, there's a, there's a, my mom's a, a monster that eats my rock hard abs, and I'm, I'm too desperate to get out of here. I was hoping we were gonna get like a shotgun or something, just blow the zombie away. I should really save my game. Okay, there's only one way to go. It's the forest outside the graveyard. It looks like Castlevania in here. The exit must be near that. Too bad we can't slip through these bars. Perhaps we should rest for a bit. I just want to get away from him as soon as possible. Yeah, this is the route where I, uh, was mean to you, aren't I? Don't apologize. We should keep moving. The exit must be close. Yes, I need to get away from you. The first attempts to wake our lord were a failure, and she had to be punished for that. Torturing the vessel didn't work. Then the vessel was relocated and we decided to wait some years. We were pretty surprised when we found out that the vessel began acting on his impulses. His? It was a sign. Our lord was awakening. The vessel needed just one more push. What? Torturing the vessel? With pins and needles? This is definitely about David. And the vessel? W what do they mean? Am I the Antichrist? So let's apologize? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm an idiot. He really thinks I'll fall for that. I guess this place has taken its toll on my sanity. You... are not ugly. I don't know why I said that. Look, the world of magazines and models is not a nice one. I just... don't want you to be miserable. You actually have some nice features. Maybe you could even be a model, who knows. But honestly, I think you'd be happier here, in this town, away from the city. But also, it's your dream and you have the last word. It's okay if you don't want to say anything. I deserve it. I'm such an idiot. I don't deserve anything. Just pain. That's what I deserve. Pain. And being unhappy. Alright, Shadow. I'm not sure if he's being sincere anymore. He sounds a bit... manipulative. Maybe... you didn't mean it. Those awful things. I didn't, I swear. I just... wanted to protect you from that life. Protect me? You don't protect people by telling them they are ugly and worthless. <laughs> That's true. I know. I'm such an idiot. I don't deserve to be near someone as nice as you. Maybe? He really means it. Are you truly sorry? Do you regret saying those awful things? 
Yes, of course, I swear it. If you forgive me, I'll promise I'll never hurt you again. I guess this place doesn't help either. Yes, that's right, it's this place. I'm not a bad person, I swear. You know, I'm, I'm not quite sure about that, actually. I'm still hurt, so I'm not sure if I can forgive you. I'll think about it, okay? Right now, we need to get focused on getting out of this awful place. Yeah, you're right. We're almost there. The exit must be close. I think we should keep moving. Yes, let's get out of here. And sorry again. I was such a fool. Forget about it, okay? I guess you weren't thinking clearly. After all we've been through, it's a miracle we're still sane. Look, I'll make it up to you, okay? I promise I'll help you become a model. D do you really mean it? Or are you just trying to be nice? Maybe both? I'm trying to be nice, and I also want to help you achieve your dreams. Actually, you have some really nice... Eyes. And you could be a model. I... I that would make me so happy. Yeah, just compliment the eyes. Them peepers. Wait, I better take it easy. I'm not sure if I can still trust him. After we get out of here, I promise I'll help you. Perhaps we should rest for a bit. Yes, that's a good idea. This room looks safe. So in this route, this is the, um, I told her she was pretty, I was nice to her thing. Hey, David. Yes? Do you think I could become a model? A model? What kind of model? A model for magazines. Fashion magazines like Mira Kay. Yes, of course. You'd be a great model. Do you really mean it? Or are you just trying to be nice? Of course I mean it. You have some really beautiful features. Especially your eyes. Them peepers. Y you think so? I always thought my eyes were ugly. Are you serious? They're not ugly. You're not ugly. What made you think that? When I was a kid, my neighbor always told me I was ugly. She was a really mean girl. That really affected me, you know? Being called ugly for so long. Your neighbor was an idiot. You're not ugly. She was ugly, most likely. Beauty is subjective. For some, it means meeting the current beauty standards or fashion trends. I personally think that the body's nothing but a vessel that reflects what really matters. The soul. When I take photographs, I try to capture the soul, the beauty of the soul. A lot of people seem to believe that eyes are windows to the soul. I'm not sure about that, but if that's true, then I have to say, you have such a beautiful soul. And your facial features are really beautiful. I'm serious. F thank you. How should I take his compliments? I'm confused. You know what I think? What I really think? Once we get out of this place, you should go with me to the city. If there's nothing else here for you, in the small town, why not follow your dreams? You can be an amazing model. Even your cat would be popular. Meow. I, I, that would make me so happy. It's Selden. We'll get out of here alive and I'll help you achieve your dreams. Yes, I want to follow my dreams. And we'll survive this. Thank you. It's nothing. It'd be a shame if your potential as a model was wasted in this small town. It's not like I hate my job as a baker. It's just that I've always dreamed of living in the city. I know it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's probably a pretty boring dream, but still. It's not a boring dream. All dreams matter. Listen, if you had burned that letter and you hadn't come here today, I probably... I would have been killed by your mother. You're right. Yeah. I'm glad I came here then. I know we barely know each other, but still. I feel like I know you from another life. Yeah, that probably sounds weird, but... I actually feel the same. Like a deja vu. Maybe it was our fate. Interesting. To meet each other. Maybe. Who knows? All I know is that you're beautiful, and you can be an amazing model. And that I... want to protect you. And help you and your cat leave this place. Does he really mean it? And help you achieve your dreams, of course. Why are you so nice to me? 
I, uh, I don't know. It's like there's a Let's Player out there controlling my actions. Anyway, let's keep moving. The exit must be near. Hey, everyone. Alright, we're back on our bad route. What's in here? Dana gave birth to a male vessel. Once the vessel turns seven, she will begin the torture process. Hopefully the pain and trauma will trigger the awakening of our lord. Um... Dana. That's my mother's name. What's going on? Am I supposed to be... A vessel? The torture process. Could that refer to what your mother did to you with those pins and needles? I... I don't know. These entries... Who could have written them? They obviously know about me. It's like all the trauma I went through was some sort of twisted plan by someone I don't even know. Yes, because that's exactly what it was. You know what? Screw this. Let's get out of here. Nothing interesting here. Before I go down those stairs, I'm going to poke left. Okay, there is another room. What is this? Looks like something can be put in there. So here first, get an item, come back, and I'm assuming that's what happens. I saw you in the water earlier. David? Just ignore them. They seem harmless. This developer really likes the uh, long neck creature kind of thing. Jade Key. David, I have a really bad feeling about this place. David, we did not know number two. David, are you okay? Wow, is that one of your mo your the model is huge? You take pictures of like giant women, <laughs> which is a good thing. So this is your studio. It doesn't look too. Professional. I'll go get my camera. Make yourself at home. Did you get your camera? Did you just get a knife? Wait a moment. What are you doing with that knife? Is, is that for the photos? Oh no. This is for you. Get away from me! Please, show me your soul! Yeah! So you can, like, squeeze his pupils. Huh. Now I can finally capture your soul with my camera. I'll go get it. Don't move. I'll be right back. Come on, David. Say something. I'll put it to down in. I'm not even sure I'll say those. How many souls did you photograph? A lot. Who are you talking to? Come on. What's going on? A lot is not enough. There's still a bit of humanity left in you. It's time to get rid of it. It's time for me to take over. Forever. Who are you? My name shall not be spoken. I have always been with you, since the moment you were born. You only exist to be my vessel. It's time, David. Give in. Stop struggling. Let me take over this body we share. 
given. I won't struggle anymore. You can be in control forever now. You did well. It's time to have some fun. I'll start with that human over there. Um... But why do I care? I'm the protag. David? Unless I am now playing as Iris. Iris. You'll have the honor of being my first feast in centuries. What? You're insane! Get away from me! He has awakened. Now a twisted fate awaits humanity. And in two, awakening. Resist. No. Shut up. I'm not letting anyone have full control of my body. David? Let's get out of here. He's gonna come back later. Probably as soon as we, like, leave. As soon as we step out the door, he's gonna possess us. This side. I already sent the letter. Everything's in motion. The vessel won't resist coming here. Letter? Could that be? That person sent you the letter, then. They wanted me to be here. But why? They consider you a vessel. No, I'm no vessel! These people are crazy. I've had enough of them. Is he in denial? Are there? No, those are fence poles, right? Not people. Since all the mayors of town have been part of our coven, this mausoleum has been our main headquarters for over a century. No one would dare oppose us. This town belongs to us and our lord. I don't understand. My grandpa mentioned something like that. The town is controlled by a cult. But I thought it was just another scary story. Oh, wait. Is it one of these? I've lost a lot of time. I probably won't be able to uh, beat it. We'll see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo, there's a close one. Need a hand. A leader predicted that his wife, Dana, would give birth to the perfect vessel for a lord. After the vessel was born, our leader took his own life and left Dana in charge. Dana was nothing like our leader. We followed her orders until we realized that there was no progress and she was a failure. We took care of her and she was buried in his mausoleum. We relocated the vessel of one of our sisters, who would play the role of an aunt to the vessel. Then one day the vessel left for the city, but he'll come back. We are going to lure him with a letter. He just won't be able to ignore it. We have witnessed signs. The right time has come. Dana. That's my mother's name. Does that mean that my father was the leader of the cult? That wasn't your aunt. She was just a cult member then. My whole life was a lie. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. No. I can't allow that. This has to be a mistake. They probably want to manipulate me with these lies. But I refuse to believe them. Screw that cult. I'm getting out of here. I guess that's his coping mechanism. You, a severed hand. There's something suspicious about one of the fingers. You got one of the fingers from the hand? Human finger. Uh. Okay.
Oh no, an old man. So I need to stick that finger in the... <laughs> stick that finger in the hole over there? Oh my god. It is! Somewhere something has opened. That sound came from the main hallway. Maybe the gate that was blocking the way. You locked the door of the Jade Key. David, why are you leaving? Are you really going to leave your mother behind? Yes, when you look like that. Leave me alone. I just came to make sure you were dead. I don't know how you came back, but you're staying here. I'm not gonna let you out. She looks angry. How could you tell? You're special, honey. Very special. There's a monster inside you. A very bad one. All those pins and needles were supposed to awake him, but things didn't work as intended. <laughs> Nothing of that makes sense. I'm not a monster. You are the monster. Maybe if I remove your tongue, he'll wake up this time. There's no reasoning with her. Let's just run. You're right. Let's get out of here. You're gonna hop over in front of me at some point, aren't you? Um, I don't think those crosses are going down because she's chasing us. I think they're going down because we're passing by them. No, no, flip it. Wait, I've got an idea. David, where are you? Over here. Ah, there you are. You're gonna get squashed, all right. Or impaled. Either works. I waited so long for this moment. Aren't you going to say something, Mom? I think she's dead. Ghouls can still be killed with violence. Too bad. I really want to hear more screams from her. There's no point in staying here. Let's just leave this place. Yeah, I guess you're right. Can we leave now? It's a shame. I really want to lure you to my apartment. What? But I know you don't trust me. You'll probably run away as soon as we get out of here. And I'll never see you again. I can't allow that. That's why I have to do it here. Right now. What do you mean? You know, photographs. You see, I'm not a good person after all. Put on the knife. I'm afraid I can't do that. There's a monster inside me and he's hungry. I've killed a lot of pathetic girls like you over the years. People with low self-esteem are so easy to manipulate. You're a murderer. I can't believe I almost trusted you. I really want to see your soul, Iris. And I really want to keep your eyeballs. I knew it! And I really want to keep your eyeballs as a souvenir. So please stand still. This will hurt a lot. Stand back! <laughs> Iris and David struggle. Unfortunately for David. Uh, 
What have you done? You tried to kill me. This is your fault. <laughs> no, know, it... it doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain anymore. Who cares? You're just a man. Flesh and bones. You won't survive this. I'm glad you confessed everything. Now I won't feel bad for you. Your trauma doesn't justify the harm you did. You probably considered me a weak and fragile girl. But I'm not. Just like your mother made you stronger, you made me stronger. <sighs> Come on, Whiskers. It's time to go back home. Should I go to the police station and tell them what happened? Would they even believe me? No, they're all probably cultists. If there's a cult behind all this, then my life would be at risk. Maybe I should keep quiet and try to forget about this. Good ending? Bodies of David and his mother were never found. Ending 3. Uncertainty. Huh. Come on, David, say something. Don't worry, it's nothing. Let's keep moving. So on the route where I wasn't really mean to her, well, this is the one I've been partially mean to her. But I, uh, I apologize afterwards. I think. This could be also when I was completely nice to her. I, I've kind of mixed up my save files, so it's ever one. But essentially... We didn't even get a choice to get possessed or not. And we didn't see the cutscene that reveals, you know, that we're a bad person. Well, we're not bad, bad. We're uh, possessed by, like, Satan or something. All right, let's go. Can we leave now? Yeah. Let's get out of here. So far, so good. We made it. See? I told you we would survive. I also managed to get rid of her. Despite everything she did, it was probably quite hard for you to kill her, right? Not at all. Now I feel relieved. Oh, I see. Listen, I'm going back to the city. Why don't you come with me? Like right now. Forget about your job, about your house. About this town. I'll help you become a model. You can stay in my apartment. Really? Of course. I really mean it. What should I do? You said some awful things, but still. You're both under a lot of stress. And he protected me. I wouldn't have survived without his help. What would my grandpa think if I left with David? Well, it would send me to leave this town behind. I really want to achieve my dreams. I've always dreamed of living in the city and becoming a model. Then come with me. I'll help you start a new life. I... I... Yes, I want to go with you to the city. Let's go then. You, Whiskers, and me. The city awaits. Happiness awaits. It's not gonna be happy, is it? David, Iris, and Whiskers went to the city. Iris and Whiskers would stay in David's apartment. Iris truly hoped to achieve her dreams, and she was very excited to see the city for the first time in her life. Shortly after their arrival, David showed Iris uh -oh, his homemade photo studio and offered to take her first professional photograph ever. The photograph that would start her new modeling career. Dot dot dot. I can't believe we're already here. Your studio looks so amazing. I'm glad you like it. So, are we going to start now? What do I have to do? How should I pose? David? Is there something wrong? It's always the same. 
pathetic girls with low self-esteem who dream of becoming famous. What? I do want to photograph your soul, but in order to do that, I need to reach it first. You're scaring me. And why do I feel sleepy? Remember the tea I gave you? It'll make you feel sleepy and relaxed. You will remain conscious, so... And rest assured, you will feel everything. Well, what have you done? How could you? What are you going to do to me? First, I want to put some pins in your gums. Just like my lover did. I want you to experience that. Then I will cut your tongue. Your fingers. I'll probably let you taste the pain for a few minutes. And then we'll continue having fun. Stop. You're crazy. How can you do something like that? Shh. The following is my favorite part. I will remove your eyeballs and keep them as a souvenir. Then I'll make many cuts in your stomach so I can remove your guts. After that, I will dissemble your body, put your limbs in individual trash bags. That's the only way to photograph your soul. Please, don't do this. I, I, I trusted you. I'm afraid that won't work. You won't be the first, and you certainly won't be the last. I've been killing women for years, yet the people in the city respect me as a top-notch photographer. They have no idea of my real hobby. Maybe they do care, they just don't. It's a city, right? There's like a... All these artists are just quirky. They all, all of them are just murdering people. That's normal. Oh, and by the way, I'll take care of Whiskers. So don't worry about it. Having a pet will help me manipulate people. All right. I'll go get my instruments, and then we can begin. <laughs> Iris was a port missing, but she would never be seen again. Nobody in the town missed her. David continued murdering innocents until one day he was discovered by a neighbor who immediately called the police. Unfortunately, the police arrived too late. David has escaped and he would never be seen again. The remains of David's victims were not found, except for a pair of eyeballs next to his pillow. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Ending 4. Souls. Can we leave now? Yeah, let's get out of here. So this one, I was just purely nice to her, like, every moment. It may be similar to the ever ending. There may be only, like, a few dialogue changes. We'll see. We made it. See? I told you we would survive. I also managed to get rid of her. Despite everything she did, it was probably quite hard for you to kill her, right? Not at all. Now I feel relieved. I'm going to read these a little faster because I recognize these dialogues. Oh, I see. Listen, I'm going back to the city. Why don't you come with me, like, right now? Forget about your job, about your house, about this town. I'll help you become a model. You can stay my, in my apartment with your peepers. <laughs> really? Of course. I really mean it. What should I do? Well, it would sad me to leave this town behind. I really want to achieve my dreams. So she didn't have the internal dialogue. I've always dreamed of living in the city and becoming a model. Then come with me, and we'll start a new life together. I I want to know you better. So if that sounds awkward, but it's what I feel. You're a very special person. I I want to know you better too. You're special. And you protected me. You're like an angel. Yes, I want to go with you to the city. Let's go then. You, Whiskers, and me. The city awaits. Happiness awaits. It's still a sad ending, isn't it? David, Iris, and Whiskers went to the city. Iris and Whiskers were staying in David's apartment. Alice truly hoped to achieve her dreams. At the same time, she started to develop feelings for David. 
Shortly after the arrival, David showed Iris his homemade photo studio and offered to take her first professional photograph ever. The photograph that would start their, her new modeling career. So it looks like there's some minor things intermixed that show she's like obviously more trusting and attracted to him. Yeah, it's only about like four dialogues were different. Iris was reported missing, but she'd never be seen again. Nobody in the town missed her. David continued murdering innocents until one day he was discovered by a neighbor who immediately called the police. Avoid the police arrived too late. David had escaped and he would never be seen again. The remains of David's victims were never not found. Except for a pair of eyeballs next to his pillow. Ending four, souls. And don't forget to remember the dead. So, that's it for Mausoleosis. This comes back to a little thing I commented once, very recently actually, about... Uh, there's a certain feeling, let's say you were one of these characters, right? You kind of like looked up in the sky and it's like some fourth wall break and you're like, Wait a minute, what engine is this? RPG Maker? Oh god. Because you know if you're an RPG Maker horror game, like... At some point someone's gonna be like a, a traitor or a secret killer. It's gonna be a twist ending and you're gonna die. So the interesting thing is the, the actual good ending is tied to the, uh, the, the bad ending routes. And despite it being labeled number one and two, I don't think that matters too much. Because uh, usually if, when the way endings are numbered is the ending, the way you're implied to get them in whatever order. I think they assume that everyone was going to be super nice to Iris, right? And then you would get the soul ending and you, you would get hit with the twist. Because the cutscene where you go to the evil area you don't see in the flashback what he does, although it's heavily implied. So if you were a normal person, you weren't like me just being mean for the sake of being mean, you would have gone down the good route, you would have been hit by that twist at the very end, and you would have been like, damn, it's another uh, witch's mad father thing going on here. Or pretty much like every RPG you make your horror game. So I'm not sure if you would argue, did we get possessed in that route? No, because if you got full possessed, he would have killed her on the spot. Although I think it's fairly similar to the uh, the other routes that where he resists. I'm assuming he's resisting, you're just not seeing it in his mental space this time. Because in the other resist route, he he tries to kill her on the spot. Because he says like, oh, she doesn't trust me. She's not going to come back to my apartment. I'm not going to let her go. That's technically the good ending of the game, if you can argue. In the normal good endings, she completely trusts him. So he never has to do that last minute attack on the spot. So she gets trapped in the apartment. She gets drugged and... She can't fight back. So, uh, funny, funny ending sequencing. They, they were a little tricky with it. I, I see what the developer did. But yeah, so, House of Elisa developer, they've made a bunch of other games too. Usually known for their iconic sprite style, I would say. Much more subdued in this one, obviously. And they obviously, uh, kind of artists to do graphic, you know, art and everything for the, uh, characters and, like, tile screen promotion and all that other stuff. And I think that was a good idea. I actually do think the art added a lot more to the game. In particular, the style worked really well for this cast. And I actually do like this developer's sprite style, especially on the monsters. They're very good at monster design. or like kind of surreal. Their, their, their sprite style is like surrealish looking. It makes everything kind of a little twisted. So I think it works well for a horror format. Obviously you wouldn't want it in like a cute game, but for this it works perfectly. And you're like the monsters, the mom, the uh, the death scenes, everything. They all look great within the style of the sprites, anyway. But yeah, I think this one was pretty good as far as consistent feel. I think this is actually one of the more consistent things they've released. I have not played for House of Release uh, one and I mean uh, not one, but ever uh, two and three. I've only played one, but out of the ones I've played, I feel like this is the most put together game they've done. At the same time, it's also one of the least weird ones they've done, aside from like the monster design. So take that what you will. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching play Mausoleosis. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.